Buenos dias, mi familia. What's going on? So I have some codes that somebody wants to know. This reading is going to be a whole different dialect. Dialect. <laughs> Get that dick out your mouth. Stop licking your balls. <laughs> I don't know. I just came through. Um, somebody wants to talk to me. And they want it in a secret coded message. Hmm. It's like a test. Ugh, I love the smell. <laughs> and I keep hearing ashes blowing in the air. Are we on fire, but we don't care? Yeah. I'll sing it how I want. Mm. You see how it curves? There's only one who carries the curve stick. Okay. This is for a specific person that gets them. Get them. M. Um, I had a dream about this person. But this person doesn't want me to talk to them and we as we do here in this world. He wants the messages as as weird as we are. Dude, who are you talking to? <laughs> we on fire, but we don't care. Yeah. Um So, there's something red and blue. Go blue. There's something red and blue. This red and blue, let me tell you what it is. It's work. They've done work on you. It's called hoodoo. They were casting hoodoo spells on you. Why was it done? Uh, they were trying to bind you through sex. This is, per this is a person you might have had sex with. Did you know that whenever you have sex with somebody, sometimes they're just trying to bind you to them? Take it from me who has been entangled in that entanglement of fucking webs of lies of fucking black widows. These fucking biatches. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing real about these women. Nah. They just want your... Mm, by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> Bitch. Um, because they just want some fucking bracelets. Like, buy me a new bracelet. Look, my red and blue. Ah. <laughs> um, we're going nowhere fast. It feels like you're in a downward spiral of endless abyss. And then I heard endless bliss. But we're not looking back. I, uh, fuck what you heard. You need to look back, bro, because there, there, there's a, there's a spell here. There's a blinding veil. One, one, one is your code to recognize if you're seeing one, 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 or this one. I like this one. That, that one, one, one is a spell of veiled eyes. They're trying to blind you, or should I say bind you, or is that with sex? That is what I'm saying. Okay. You know, I never really noticed how you have three, two, threes. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you want to talk like this, but okay. Um, in the spiritual ranking of awesomeness that we are, there's a time clock here. There's an hourglass, 3113. This is coming from the head honcho upstairs. 
and it's to check yourself because you're about to wreck yourself, bitch. Bitch! And I'm not talking about your chick. I'm talking about you, homie. 13, 13. 13 is about the bed, bro. What did we just say? <laughs> itchy on my arm. Itchy on the back of my calf. Itchy like underneath my boob. Left side. Spleen. That's where your spleen is. Are you being mean again? Yeah, it's because you've been infected and you've been poisoned by this venomous bitch snake. Venomous bitch snake? Man, she's a she's a boy bitch. <laughs> she likes boy bands. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. So, 23, 23, 23. I see you. Yeah, sex buddy, sex buddy, it's a hoe. They're all smoke. They ain't got no fire to their creativity. It's some type of time warp. Uh, time warp. This bitch is in disguise because she did a battle cry and you were like, oh shit, let me come and save the day. Like, no, bro. I thought you learned that shit wearing those fucking tights. What the fuck? Um... She's doing a cloaking magic on you because she's cloaking in the children of the light energy. So she might be cloaking in your own energy to fucking confuse you because that's what veiled eyes are. So she probably did a glamour spell. This bitch is evil entities. Mm, mm, neurotic. Says a fucking sneak attack. She's a shark. Ah, she took a bite out of you. Like <laughs> the crime dog McDuff. McGruff. Ah, mm, mm, ah. You hear me, Detroit? Ashes blowing in the air. <laughs> we on fire. We don't care. Oh. Oh, now I see what you're saying by that. Let me see this hooch. Turner and hooch. Yes. Her name might start with the letter S. L to the arc. <laughs> She's a trigger. This person or you is in a battle with themselves of the shadow self. She's trying to split you up in half again. Bring out Marshall. <laughs> no. I'm just saying that because of this fucking song, you know. Yeah. Trying to split them in half again. Look and listen. She's trying to split you in half again. Trying to bring out that dark side. Because apparently that's where the creature lives. Apparently that's your beast within you. And this chick doesn't like a spoonful of your sunshine. Aww. Why? What, what a bitch. What oh, bitch? I'm gonna tell her she's a bitch. And I'll do it straight to her fucking face. I don't give a fuck. I'm from Texas. Shit. I'm fucking Mexican. We all messy in this can. <laughs> she might be an Aries. Or she comes off like a fire sign. Oh. Pfft. Aries is born in March. Or February. The end of February? Yeah. Yeah. The end of February, the beginning of March. She's very bold. She's very, it seems very like aggressive. Um, but it's a, it's a, I keep seeing the man suit. She's wearing a man suit. Like this is a cover. Please. I think she's a fake tomboy. <laughs> she a fake. She's trying to find a window of opportunity to come in to have you. Like, like I, I'm getting, like, you see the window? And I'm seeing, like, scream where the guy fucking sneaks into the window. And is like, ha ha, but he's actually the fucking murderer. This is her. <laughs> this is her. My, I married an axe murderer. Oh, shit, bitch. It's glad, I'm glad to see, to know, to hear that you like to watch movies, too. Ah, yeah. Okay. And I'm feeling massive heartburn. So she's doing love spells on you too. Golly. So she's already got you in the bed and the sack and she's still doing love spells on you? Doesn't she know you already like her? Like, what the fuck? This bitch is fucking selfish as fuck and she wants your famous eye. Oh. Oh, look, Detroit. About the rivers and your sweater. She takes your sweater. And then she lies. Oh, shit. You better watch out for that. You better count your fucking sweaters or your hoodies or whatever the fuck you call them. 
because she might be doing them, putting them in the graveyard, doing that shift work. <laughs> the fuck do we need to know about this shit? This is some fucking dirty tunnel type, type of wacky bullshit. Just like, crawling out in the night like a little fucking creature. They want your energy. This bitch wants your energy. Don't she? She don't even put in the work. Work it, girl. Work it. Look, look. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. She don't put that work in. She's lying to you. Lies, I tell you. Lies all day long. She lied to you. And I keep hearing that ash is blowing in the air. Does she smoke or what the fuck? Yeah. Oh. Tacky. This bitch still smokes cigarettes. Like, what the fuck? What the flying fucks? Everywhere. She wants your energy. There's lots of red here. So it feels very passionate, very fiery, very I want you. But it feels like she's just trying to come in and steal your fire, bro. So if you've been experiencing, like, you're cold at night or when you're with this person... This person could be stealing your energy, which is your fire, your heat, your warmth, which is also your solar plexus energy. Because she's trying to turn your wheel into her favor. You see what I'm saying? Like she's trying to take you for a ride. Biatch! Next. The truth about her is... Oh my god. Dude... She's using your story that happened to you about your mother, your father, whatever, that made you like this victim, right? And it threw off your mentality, but it, it didn't throw off your mentality. You know exactly what the fuck happened and what went down and how it went down. You've recognized this shit and this shit is using the story to come at you with. Like, yeah, my dad did it to me too, blah, 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 la, 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 la. She's selfish, bro. She's selfish. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, let's fuck with her. Yes, yes. You talk my language. Yes, yes, let's fuck with her. Mmm. That's her cover story. Oh! <clears throat> Is she a cover girl? Oh, dear lord. You fall easy for that shit, don't you? Mm. Loser. That's why they call her loser. Stop looking with your heart. Stop looking with your eyes to your heart when your heart don't got no eyes, bro. 6116, this is about your feelings and your relationship. She's trying to conquer your heart. Red and blue. Something. There's something significantly here about red and blue for you. What is that? What is that? Because I saw that in my dream yesterday. I was wearing red and blue bracelets. <laughs> bracelets. Red and blue bracelets. I don't know. Is that like y'all staying? What did I tell you about fucking veiled eyes? 111. Look. 111. <laughs> Veiled eyes. You cannot see the repeating pattern of being deaf, dumb, and blind. That's because you're full of cum. That's why. Because I was getting that heavily yesterday. A sexual, a heavy, heavy sexual energy projection. That I was like, dude. I felt like I was in my adolescent years where I just wanted to run into the closet and jerk off. But I was like, ah, I'm not that fucking little immature kid anymore. What the fuck's going on? I can control my urges. What the fuck? Like, it was just like, gimme, 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 gimme. This is weird. <sighs> But that's what biatches do, in case you didn't know. Hmm? She does a little sniff and patrol. Oh. Ooh, what the fuck? Is she a cancer? She's trying to come off all like your frenemy. Oh my god. Frenemy. She's your frenemy. She's trying to come off like your family. But she, she ain't real, bro. She just hasn't experienced anything traumatic. No, she fakes it, I hear. She fakes this love of support. Wow. Oh, wow. Why? Let's see her shadow. Show me her shadow. She's the wounded feminine. Mmm. Mmm. Two, two, two. If you're seeing two, 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 it's because she's the distorted. If you're seeing 222, this chick has distorted feminine energy. That means she's going to use sex as a weapon. And... The reason she's doing that is because she's wounded. She feels like she's not good enough. Or someone never told her she was good enough. And it all started from this part. Mom and daddy didn't tell her she was good enough. So she doesn't believe it. So she needs to be told 24 fucking 7. Ugh. Ugh. What else is her shadow? Ooh, 
she's a hater in plain sight. You've always known this. You've always known who she is. Oh, this cover girl. Mm. The Larkin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woman holding the coin, holding you back. She's holding you back from something. What is that? What is that? The pinnacle. Something about money. She's trying to hold on to you. Hold on to your money. Eww. Brother, what's that? Ew. Ew. You should totally do something with that. It's fucking hilarious. Ew. Oh, that like hurt my boob. See, there's a spleen. You're acting mean from this. You're acting like her. You're in accordance with her. Brother. Ew. What the fuck are you doing, yo? I want to throw a healing card for you because I'm like, what the fuck? Give a gift. Say I love you with a present just because. Get them something they love to do. But I don't feel like this is for her. I feel like this is something you need to do for you. You need to remember how awesome and amazing you are. Like, brother, nothing really else truly matters. Don't you know? So I did have 78, 80, 108. 108. Is this off the 108? Something about a freeway, highway, interstate. This is the director. Baby doll eye. Baby doll eye means when the chick literally blinks like this. With one eye. I don't know if I'm doing that right. <laughs> I've got a video on that. Go check it out. Um, For real, it looks like boob. Is she lying that she's got cancer? Oh my god. Which I reject and rebuke. Not me, Jose. Get off of me. Something about your sweater. She's doing skull magic on you. This is earthbound spirit. So she's trying to attach graveyard spirit, graveyard ghost on you. So if you're feeling some type of um, joint pain. I'm not a doctor. But if the doctors can't tell you what the fuck's going on with you. I'm telling you. It's a motherfucking ghost. Attached to you. Ooh wee. Because this bitch feeds ghosts. Oh my god. If you saw a sick raccoon or you've been seeing raccoons. This is your confirmation. This bitch is selfish and greedy. She has, she's trying to put a blood contract on you for your real money. Go out and play some baseball. All right. Is she an Aquarius? There's no boundaries with this chick and she does evil steps. She's a false beloved. She comes when the devil's comet comes around. She's very jealous, very caging spirit, very caging spell. Like she's trying to cage you, trap you. She does the dark arts. <laughs> Did you hear that? Da, 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 da. Da! She does the dark arts! <laughs> uh, I know that I have a lot of guys that watch my channel, and so I know I have to make this fucking interesting, or they just go, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm bored. Uh, let's talk about cars. Let's see. If you're experiencing some upper back pain, this bitch is way in your lane. Yeah, like, for real. Maybe she's trying to turn you into a queer boy. Ooh, that's the demon of chaos. Body shaming. This gap of time. This hunger bitch. Pentagon may be significant because I saw that yesterday. This person's been sexually abused. You know what I talk? You know what I tell pedophiles? Castrate them all. Cut them off. Cut off their balls and their dick. Get out of here. Get out of here with my, get out of here with my face. Get out of my face with that shit. Uh, fight night, you like fights, or like UFCs or whatever, something like that. You like the numbers, 108. Ah, I got you, bro. This is my heart, too. This is what I do. I got this book. I got this book. <laughs> I got this book. I gotta show you everything, but you know. And I got another book. I'm just, I'm just telling you, a person who says, a person who does the work has the proof to back it up. They're not just talking out of their fucking mouth or talking out of their ass. A person can provide you with the knowledge that they have experienced or been working on because they've been actually fucking doing it. This is not something that we take lightly or take literally. This, this gift that was given to us, we use it well to help. We use it to 
uplift because we've been in these dark tunnels. We've been where the dirt was dirt and the tunnels of dirt, you know, scrapping for food and, and at the scrape of our teeth. Teeth keeps coming out. Watch your teeth. If you're getting a lot of like cavities in your teeth, it's because this chick. This shit could be also doing root work on you. I'm telling you, I know it's a whole bunch of shit of a fucking shit, a bunch of shit of lies, a web of lies of shitting yourself. Wow, this bit be crazy. We're at 20 minutes and I feel like I'm out of breath. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> it's all the smoke. You see what I mean? Like, fuck that. She might be 34 years old or 44 years old. Or 24. Huh. I didn't even notice that. 24, 34, 44. What you know about fours? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm guessing you were trying to make this girl your wife. I would seriously think about that. Mm -mm. As a friend, if I was your friend, I'm telling you right now. Fuck no. Oh, no way, dude. Because this bitch is doing a blood ritual on you. She's a false beloved. She's a false twin false she wants you to let her in and tell me all the stuff that hurt you she, she's she's demented she's fallen she's a she's a bad apple yeah you were trying to make her your wife oh, dude dude no she's a tease she's a thief she slings from tree to tree this <laughs> that would be the from dick to dick yeah she's a villain she uses your drugs or she's on drugs. She might be a cancer. She doesn't hold that no bullshit mentality. She plays around in it like she is, but she's not. She can't handle that shit. Yeah, handle. She can't handle that shit. Mm. But she's an animal in the sack. Is that what got you pulled in? Is that what got your dick sprung? Bro. Mm -mm -mm. She's trying to put you in the dirt there, Rain Man. Get the fuck out of there. She's a mental hitman. And it's all about me at the end of the day. She's going to make you look stupid. Or that's what she's trying to do. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. So you can sing about sing, sing a song about her. He wanted my life. I'm telling you, she wants your life. And she'll do anything to get your energy. Of cutting my thumb, the witch's broom, to get a handle on you. Like She, she reads this occult stuff of her study of blood. But this is a blood magic. You don't, like, we don't be fucking around with that shit. No way, no how. Uh-uh. We study words and numbers and letters and, and, and rhymes and rhythms. Like, this chick, this chick don't come from up above. She got something else attached to her. Let's see. Yep, strangers in the night. You, she hooks up with people at night. Lots of people. Strangers in the night. Random sex with anybody and everybody. And that code of 133 and 113, this is coming into, um, uh, let me see. I don't try to memorize all this information because we'll, I'll be here all day. 133. This is the blonde ritual. The blonde hair ritual. She's sinister. This is a false reality that she projects. Of the family used me. No, she's property. She belongs to somebody. Oh, the plot thickens. She belongs to somebody called the shooter. Sticky hands. Somebody that looks like Matthew McConaughey. Like that. That's more her type gunslinging texas dudes maybe maybe yeah this voodoo priest oh yeah i use sex to make me feel better mm, brother 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 Ugh, what you doing she's trying to take dominion over you this hawk she comes up like i had a hard night life too Get the fuck out of here. She's psychotic in her rage. She, and she's going to come in with some brute force. Don't do it. Uh, 133 and 113. Yeah, that's what's on this code. This is the female spirit. So she must have a male spirit that has already... Um, 
contracted with her so she might have like an incubus succubus spirit and she's got the male one so that's what that's how it goes if the feminine hasn't been able to deal with her masculine because most women are in denial about their masculine side and so what happens is the demons will come through and possess you and it's usually a male spirit that'll possess a female body so this is why i tell you she might be trying to turn you into a queer boy because of the males trying to conquer you like submit you to them yeah i know it's crazy but it's true that the the, the law of vibration of this dark energy is, is through some form of sexual energy sexual manipulation of real money which is like a fight night Ooh, cat scratch fever does she already scratch your back that's usually a sign she's trying to take your voice have you been feeling that? Yeah, she's, maybe she might have a voodoo doll on you. Oh, definitely is bipolar. <laughs> um, she uses the fault line, meaning it's your fault. She says shit like that. Well, like fucking immature high school shit. Like, no, no, no. All right, let me let me take it to you because I really think you need to see what the f with you, brother, brother. Let me tell you what. You want to be the one in control. This person's not going to... This person's not going to be... She ain't going to let you control shit. Not this chick. Not with that spirit that's inside of her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, you tricky motherfucker. I saw you, bitch. I saw you. Okay, this is coming from your spirit team. What up with thee? Um, it's time for you to let go. Let go of this bitch. Let go. Because she's holding you back. She's petty. She's jealous. She's got mind games. She's not looking out for your better future of yourself. Um, she could start with the letter C, L, or U. Um, life path number three. She used you for sex. Look, look, look. These are the cards. Three ninety nine. She sees you as three ninety nine. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. What the? What the fuck? Like, what? Look, blind, blind gang. She wants the I do. She wants you to marry her. She wants to be in control of you, and use you for sex. Nah, dude. I told you. I told you. It's like spinning around in your head. I feel like you already know this. But if you need a confrontation, you need a confrontation. All right, let's confront this bitch. Oh yeah, she's gonna bring up your hurt. She's gonna bring up your past to hurt you with it. Oh no, no, no. This is like your abandonment wounds. Um, this is why she smokes. She's got trauma in that. And she she goes into depth of your mind and it makes you feel like you're really hurt, but she's manipulating you. She's manipulating you of your energy. She's trying to bring in a tower of your life to silence you. Oh, we got an upside down truth of the strangers in the night. Yeah, she's she's trying to mirror you in some way, but it's not you're seeing that she's nothing like you. You're understanding that. But for some reason or other, because she wants your energy, this wounded feminine. She, she's using your own story against you, bro. It, it's time to let her go. But it's it's either going to be you or her. There's no, there's no connection in this story. Nope. It's all about herself because this came up upside down. It's all about herself. And she's a dog of the dog pound. Bow, wow, wow. You know what I mean? We call those bitches. <laughs> we call those bitches. She's a pro at this. She's a perra. She's a pro doing this. You do not go to a mechanic for health. Seek help. So, yeah, no. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you asked for your, for, for, for my hand in marriage. <laughs> I'm more than happy to assist you, brother. But I'm not giving you my, my hand in marriage. I'm already taken. Are you taking? Okay. What's this? I don't want to know because you know it's a lie. What? Whatever grows together goes together. Are you lying to yourself? Bruh. Look at this red and blue. Don't want to know. You know it's a lie. Come on, dude. Come on, dude wake up or is it or is it these names down here because look red and blue is it g p y right she's trying to take over your feelings trying to overpower you 
because she's a sunken soul. She's a troll. Something about that. Dude, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to be for real here. All right? Ugh, look at this. She's trying to switch lanes with you. This fell right up on my boob. Uh, I just heard someone talk. Abba, uh, Abba, Abba. She's talking to some Arabian dude. Third war. <sighs> She's a potato. I don't know what that means. Yeah, she brainwashing you, bro. She's trying to make you feel empty and loser and lackluster again. She might be a Sagittarius. I'm, see, I'm telling you, she comes off like a fire sign. But she's not fire. She's, she's probably water. Yeah. I guess you're, I guess, I'm guessing you're tired of being alone. You don't want to know about this. You don't want to know that you need more self-love. You don't want to know that you have a very powerful key to manifest your life. And this person's trying to take over that key. Of expressing yourself with all that might that you have. But that might that you have comes from a very powerful heart that you have. The ability to feel the things that needed to be filled when other people didn't want to feel them. You feel these things. Men, I'm telling you, men have a power to feel things that other people can't feel. Men have that feeling to provide and to protect. So that their heart automatically drops when something's off. Drop, 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 drop the base. Oh, damn. This card's literally just hit that card off of my book, The Switching Lanes. To hit house number six of giving and taking. Number six is your health. Is something going on with your health? Look at this. You need to stop. Pump the brakes. Go slow. Don't buy that fucking ring. <laughs> don't buy that fucking ring because you're gonna regret it you're gonna regret it because you're feeling all like like you're feeling all like high on life but it's a moon play this is an illusion this chick is an occult or a coven oh and she's super prideful about it and she was like i can make this happen like she had a gun, gun high, gun high hole. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden hearing the fucking dwarfs come through high ho. And then here's again, such Sagittarius. She wants you to keep an open mind with her to play, but she's going to, she's going to fucking embarrass you in front of a lot of people because of her pride. This is like her coven thing. This is what they do. They put men to shame. Ew, what the fuck? She's a two-face. She has men voices in her head. She's a storm. She doesn't know how to forgive people. She 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 acts on instincts. And this is all like sex. To control men. She's very two-faced. Maybe she's a Gemini. Or a Pisces. Oh yeah, those are the major two-facers. Um boop. know what that is that's um <sighs> what the fuck's it called it's not star wars it's the one that makes fun of star wars it appears to be jammed <laughs> oh my god i kind of can't remember that one It's the funny video, it's the funny movie that makes fun of Star Wars with the guy that comes out in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Rick Morris, I think that's his name. The actor. Do I get, pay, do I get points for that? Spaceballs. There it is. There it is. It always has to be with some type of dick format. Dick and balls. Suck my hairy goose egg. What? I've never said that in my life, but somebody says it. Um, she's coming in for a window of opportunity to cause this cycle of repeat of this chaos that she's trying to 
she's trying to complete on you because it's not 999 it fell into the 666 so it's like for you never to end this cycle of you being broken and and, and battered like like a domestic dispute 3223 she might be a gemini yeah she wants to understand how your mind works so she can manipulate you wow yeah she did magic Magic usually it hits it hits under your arm first. You'll start to feel like your muscle spasms under your arm. That's because it's under handed, under arms. She's she's locked in arms into a coven and they throw magic at you. This literally could be voodoo. Or hoodoo. I would say hoodoo, because hoodoo did come out today. Yeah, hoodoo. She's casting hoodoo work on you. But the magic is wearing off right now. This is like the, the, the veil is real thin and you're you're starting to come back again. Just check your fear. Don't let her repress your emotions because she's going to trigger you to make you go snap. And from when you, when you get triggered and then you snap, you do the same old things you used to do. So I'm guessing like have sex with random partners or do drugs or go driving all crazy go drinking and driving whatever the case is for you it works for everybody differently but this is for you to be like on autopilot of your own tragic story of how you dealt how you dealt with your past and how you coped that's what that is so fuck that bitch fuck that, fuck that bitch yeah it's time for you to lead you have a very powerful Midas touch and you are constantly perceiving this but for some other something or other you, you've been pussmatized <laughs> everybody says dickmatized right but she don't got a dick unless I don't know I don't know I don't know what you're into <laughs> I don't know what you're into but I'm sure you're not a fag but I am I can say those words okay mm. <sighs> what do I need to do uh, this deck's touching me. Where I'm touching it, but it's looking at me. Touching it, touching you. Dancing on the floor. You need to check your thirsty gauge of sexual energy. Check it. Are you really, you know, turned on? Or is somebody throwing you energy? This is something you need to practice. Because if you're not watching anything on the TV or doing anything on the, on the you know, and, and all of a sudden this raging energy comes at you it's not you this is an energy being projected at you so learn the difference yeah because this bitch is jealous and she it's like she wants to she's trying to cause you to be jealous so you can have crossed eyes so you don't see straight you need to learn to trust again and and she's like throwing the spell on you so you could trust her that's some that's some crazy shit right there like that's not how you gain trust that's not how you gain trust. You've already learned that from your ex, right? From your last ex-men. <laughs> she ain't no Hulk. But this chick has a, a, a Hulk hand. Is about to knock you the fuck out with it. With all of this spell magic. Coming in all healing and and you can trust me and and we can't we won't have any regrets we'll grow together whatever grows together goes together did she tell you that like it's so fucking she's planting seeds dude she's planting seeds into this earth ritual magic of sticky hands and being temptation and then and then she's gonna be some sinister sinister thing that she does to you so I'd be careful. Yeah, she could be throwing you a voodoo curse. She'd be, I'd be very careful with this chick. Because she follows her own laws. And this has nothing to do with in-laws. But maybe you should check your in-laws. Is that really the type of people you want to be in your family? <laughs> Not trying to be a dick, but really think about it. She's a control. She's a she's a narcissist, and she has a tendency. She doesn't have tendencies. She's a narcissist, and she uses people up. Oh, I'm gonna end it there. I feel like I got my story across. I feel like you get the message. But at the end of the day, you you decide your fate. At the end of the day, you decide. Da, 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 da. 
I mean, I'm, I'm guessing you have like, she has this way that she gets you. It's not that she gets you. She's copying you. Okay. She's not like you. I feel in my heart. She's not like you, but she's imitating everything there is to know about you because she's, she got in your head and she wants you to think that you're her you're her one, you're her happily ever after. Oh my god, this is what I've been looking for my entire life. No, dude, no. No. Okay. And with much love and light, I'm here to give you this hug from across the sea, the universe, so that you know that this message that you were looking for has always been here waiting for you. So when you're ready to know the truth, send me a message. My email is posted, okay? For some reason that's not working out. I'm sure you have connections to find a way to get a reading, to get a message, to get a, to get a, an air hug. I am more than happy to give you an air hug because we might be in two different locations. But know that the Divine Mother is always there for you. And she's got her priestesses to come and give you the message to tell you what's up so that you don't feel lost or alone. For you never walk alone. You are always guided by the power of the Divine, which is the light and our hearts that resonate. With much love, my name is Connie. Have a good day.